Hello everyone! I'm Coach Freddy Lane. Thank you for checking out this channel. This video will help you in taking your civil service exam. If bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button for more updates. You may also share this video to your friends. If you are serious in taking your review, ano pang inihintay mo? You can get a copy of the most comprehensive civil service reviewer here. Just click the link in the description. One of the category that you may encounter in the civil service exam is the numerical ability. This category tackles different aspects such as basic math concepts. For today's discussion, we will focus on order of operations. For those who are not familiar with the concept ng order of operations, basically, ito ay yung isang expression na may multiple na operation. Meron siyang addition, subtraction, multiplication, at saka division. So kung makakita tayo ng question na may multiple operations, ang fundamentals ng PEMDAS is helpful to get the correct answer. Ano nga ba ang PEMDAS? The word PEMDAS is an acronym for the following. Ang letrang P ay tumutukoy sa parentheses or grouping symbols. Letter E stands for exponents. Next, ang letters M, D, A, at saka S ay tumutukoy naman sa basic operations or yung familiar sa atin na M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and lastly, S naman para sa subtraction. First, na pag usapan natin para sa order of operations ay yung parentheses or grouping symbols. Ibig sabihin, if we see a parenthesis or grouping symbols like this on the screen, ito yon, yung parenthesis, brackets, saka basis na symbol, this means that those expression within the grouping symbols sila yung una nating ipe-perform or isosolve. For example, etong expression na to, 3 plus 7 plus 5, this means, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis ay 3 plus 7. Sila yung una nating isosolve bago natin i-add sa 5. So, we have 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. 15 yung final answer natin. Another example, 5 times 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 sila yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Yan. So, same process pa rin, sila yung muna nating ipaperform. So, magiging eto siya. Copy lang yung 5 times 8, which is sagot dun sa 6 plus 2. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Yung 40, yan yung final answer natin. Take note lang kasi, ana, um, it is very important for us na to be careless. Kasi nga, may mga instances na kapag iba yung operation, ay magiging iba yung sagot. Eto, for example, this expression, 4 plus 3 times 2. Yung nasa loob ng parenthesis ay 4 plus 3. Tsaka itong expression na to. 4 plus 3 times 2. Kung i-compare mo, magkaiba yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So kapag sinolve natin, magkakaiba rin yung sagot. Isolve natin yung una. Yung una, yung 4 plus 3, yan yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So this means that 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Copy lang yung 2, tsaka i-multiply natin, 7 times 2 magiging 14. Yan yung final answer. Yung pangalawang expression, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis ay 3 times 2. Ito, sila yung una natin ipiperform. So, copy yung 4 plus 3 times 2 which is equal to 6. So, ito yon. So, kapag in natin sila, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. If we compare those two expressions, pagkakaroon ng difference sa final answer. Kaya, dapat alam natin kung alin ang uunahin. Uunahin natin kung ano yung nasa loob ng parenthesis o sa loob ng grouping symbols. Next, we will talk about exponents. This means that when we say exponents, it is in the form of a raised to the power of x such that a is the base and x is the exponent. So, kanina, nagtagal tayo sa parenthesis. So, after we simplify those expression in the parenthesis or grouping symbols, we will 
now proceed to solving the numbers with exponents. To further understand, here is an example. Ito. 3 squared plus 9. So, walang parenthesis. So, proceed tayo sa exponents lang. Ito yon, Yung 3 squared. Yan. Yung 3 squared siya yung may exponent. So, 3 squared means that it is 3 times 3. So, magiging 9 siya. So, 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. So, 18 yung final answer. So, eto pa yung another example. Yan. Sabi natin kanina, uunahin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis bago yung exponents. So, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis ay 1 tsaka 2. Yun. Ipe-perform natin siya gamit yung operation na nandyan, which is addition. So, 1 plus 2. Copy lang muna natin yung times 5 squared. Yan. Magiging 3 times 5 squared. So, sunod natin ipe-perform ay yung my exponent, which is 5 squared. 5 squared is equal to 25. So, we have 3 times 25. So, if we multiply these two numbers, 3 times 25, we will get the final answer, which is 75. After ng P, which is for parentheses, and E for exponents, we will now proceed sa M tsaka D, which stands for multiplication or division. This means that these operations will be performed first before addition or subtraction. Now, sa PEMDAS, last yung A tsaka S, which is for addition or subtraction. This means that this operation will be performed last, after na ng multiplication or division. This is a reminder to everyone that multiplication or division and addition or subtraction are in the same level. So, we have to perform the operation that comes first. Remember, it is from left to right order. To further understand about some multiplication or division and addition or subtraction, we have here an example. First expression is 5 plus 7 times 2. Since we do not have division, we will now proceed sa multiplication. It is sa 7 times 2. Sila yung uunahin natin. So, para mas clear, ilagay na lang natin sila sa parenthesis. So, now we have 5 plus 7 times 2, which is nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, sila yung uunahin. So, we have now 5 plus 14. 14 since yan yung sagot ng 7 times 2. So, kapag inan natin yung 5 plus 14, we will have 19. Yan yung final answer. To further understand pa, we have here another example. This is the expression 20 divided by 2 plus 7 times 2 minus 1. So, we denote kanina na yung division tsaka multiplication ay in the same level at tsaka yung addition tsaka subtraction. So, since nasa same level yung multiplication and division, which is sila yung unahin natin kasi nga M does. I-divide muna natin yung 20 divided by 2. Magiging 10 na siya. Tsaka, i-follow natin kung ano yung multiplication. Since yung multiplication ay 7 times 2, sila yung isusunod natin. Yan, magiging 14 na siya. I-copy mo lang yung plus sign, tsaka i-bring down mo lang din yung minus 1. So, since addition na lang, tsaka subtraction, nagamit na lang tayo from left to right, kasi nga yung addition, tsaka yung subtraction are in the same level. So, eto na siya. 10 plus 14 is equal to 24 minus 1. So, 24 minus 1 is equal to 23. Yung 23... Yan na yung final answer natin. Let's try to solve this one. The expression 6 plus 3 times quantity 2 plus 5 raised to the power of 2. We should always remember the PEMDAS. Now, for solution, we should check if meron ba siyang P. Ano yung P? It stands for parenthesis. 
So, kung titingnan natin, meron siyang parenteses. Ito yon, Yung 2 tsaka 5 na ginamitan ng operation na addition. So, sila yung uunahin natin i-perform. So, 2 plus 5, eto, magiging 7 na siya. So, copy lang yung iba. So, ang bago nating expression ay 6 plus 3 times 7 raised to the power of 2. Now, sunod ng parenteses, titingnan natin kung merong exponents. Meron nga bang exponents? Meron siya. Ito yon, Yung 7 ni-raise natin sa 2. So, siya yung uunahin nating isolve kesa dun sa mga naunang expression or numbers. Now, 7 squared is equal to 7 times 7 and 7 times 7 is equal to 49. So, eto na siya. 6 plus 3 times 49. Kanina, sinabi natin na mauuna yung multiplication or division kesa sa addition or subtraction. Since wala namang division, punta na lang tayo sa multiplication. Meron yung 3 times 49. So, sila yung muuna nating ipe-perform. Yan. Meron namang multiplication sa division. So, proceed tayo. Yan. 3 times 49 is equal to 147. So, lastly, ang sabi kanina, yung last na ipe-perform ay yung addition or subtraction. So, 6 plus 147 is equal to 153. So, yung 153, yan yung final answer na natin. Now, let's try to have another example. This expression. We should always remember PEMDAS, which stands for parenthesis, exponent, multiplication or division, and lastly, addition or subtraction. We have here the solution. Copy muna natin yung expression here. So, let us see. Meron bang parenteses? Kasi, yung mga nasa loob ng parenteses, yun yung unahin natin, di ba? So, meron. Yung 7 plus 8 at saka 6 times 2. So, we have to perform those operation na nasa loob ng parenteses. Now, 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. And 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Next, tingnan natin kung merong exponents. Meron. Yun yung 15 raised to the power of 2. Yan yung exponents. So, 15 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 15 times 15 is equal to 225. Next, multiplication or division. Tingnan natin. Meron bang multiplication? Meron. Since walang division, sa multiplication tayo. So, we have to perform first 2 times 225 and 12 times 12 bago natin siya i-subtract. Now, we have 450 minus 144. And lastly, we have to perform the operation na nasa screen. Which is, dapat, addition or subtraction. Since walang addition, subtraction yung gagamitin nating operation. So, 450 minus 144, it is equal to 306. 306, yan yung final answer natin. Now, it's your turn. Tingnan natin kung meron kayong natutunan sa ating discussion. I want you to try the following exercises by yourselves. Answer me. It's your time to answer this expression. You have 20 seconds to find the answer. I will flash the solution and the final answer after 20 seconds. Your timer starts now. Here is the another expression to answer. You have also 20 seconds and the solution and the final answer will be flashed after the time stops. Your timer starts now.
Time's up. Now, this is the solution and the final answer is 48.5. Kung nakuha mo yung tamang answer, wow, you're great. Pero kung hindi, try and try lang until na makuha mo. At saka panoorin mo yung video na ito ng paulit-ulit hanggang sa ma-master mo na ang order of operations gamit ang fundamental ng PEMDAS.